welcome back to another video it's your girl mrs emily paints and today we're going to be doing a makeup look with the warrior palette by juvia's place okay ladies so for this video i'm excited to use this palette because you guys look at these colors there are so many shimmery shades and i'm excited for those of you guys because lately i've been doing a lot of natural looks so we're gonna go ahead and get into this i'm gonna go ahead and grab a fluffy brush and this one is from jacqueline hill by morphe um you guys already know that that is my favorite brand when it comes to brushes and i'm gonna go ahead and take this brown shade right here and we're gonna grab a little bit of that and we're only gonna be doing our eye on the left side because i don't really want to do the other one um because i use it for videos okay so i'm gonna be blending this onto my crease you guys make sure you do circular motions and side to side these shades are usually very blendable, so that is actually my favorite about Juvia's Place, you guys. I know that a lot of um, brands could be very, like, powdery. This one, not at all. I really, really trust this brand because their eyeshadows are always very smooth and buttery. So they blend easily, you know? Like, why wouldn't you want a blendable eyeshadow? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and blend this really, really good, you guys. I'm thinking of using only browns i'm not gonna go in with a different palette you guys already know i don't like to use more than one palette for my makeup looks so i'm gonna keep building this up you guys um like i said go circular motions and side to side that is the easiest way to blend and you guys do not want to be holding your brush all the way up here try to keep it like from here or below because it'll apply the least amount of pressure onto your lid and it's easier to blend Okay, you guys, also try to blend the color a little bit down here on the outer area of our eye because I want to create like a smoky eye with this brown look. You guys will see what I'm talking about. You guys already know the smoky eyes are my thing. I love to make it look very, very, very blended. Okay, I'm grabbing another fluffy brush and this one is also from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. I'm going to grab this darker color up here, you guys. Excuse the lighting. I don't know why it's looking a little weird. And I used this color a little too bright under my eyes, you guys. My color changed because the summer. Oh, my God. We've been going to lakes and to the beach. So, it's kind of annoying that, like, my color keeps changing. And I feel like I have to keep buying foundations, you know. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go in with this color here on this outer area. And we're just going to blend in little circular motions. Just be careful with this shade. Try to keep it under, like, on your lid and on your crease. Do not go above because we don't want to hide that brown shade, okay? So we're going to go in circular motions and drag this all the way over here. And don't worry if you have any fallout because we can get rid of that with a fan brush. Okay, guys, I did try to take it away with the fan brush, but the fallout actually got stuck on there. Some little bits and pieces here of the powder stayed on my skin, so we're going to have to take that off right after. That is a negative for the brand. Um, this hasn't happened to me with the other palettes. So, what is this called? The Warrior by Juvius, you guys. The fallout got stuck to my face. That's not good. <laughs> okay, guys, we're not going to do it that dark. We're just going to blend with the same amount that we had. We're not going to grab some more. And then after that, we're going back in with the previous brush that we used just to blend this out and make sure that it's as smoky as possible. And we got to make sure that these two colors connect. Sorry, you guys. I keep blowing out the powder from the palettes. It just... I hate when the powder is on there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and blend this side out again. And then, um, remember, we're using the same brush... We're just grabbing a little bit of more product so that these two colors blend together and it gets a little bit darker, okay? And then once again, we're going back in with the other brush, you guys. I know this is like a back-to-back -back type of thing, but trust me, it looks a lot better when you do this than when you just do it once and leave it like that. When you keep going back in and you make it a little bit darker and you fix it, it looks so much better, you guys. Trust me, it looks a lot smokier and it looks blended. That's what's important. It needs to look blended. Okay, and now that this is all done, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and choose a shimmery shade. I am wearing a yellow shirt, so I'm thinking of going with this pretty gold right here. I'm going to be using this gold just for this inner area, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and grab a flat brush, and this is from the Nikita Dragon by Morphe brush collection. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> And then once I grab some of the shimmery shade, I'm going to go ahead and tap off the extra, the extra stuff, you know. 
And then we're going to go ahead and blend this out right here. Ooh. I might have to grab more, but it did apply very nicely. It is shimmery. It's pretty. I can definitely see the, the gold color. It's like a yellow gold. It's not like a, a dark gold, if that makes sense. So it goes perfectly with my shirt. Okay, guys, and try to stay below the crease when you're applying these shimmery shades. Also, you guys, the best way to apply these type of shadows is honestly with your finger. Watch what I'm going to do. It's going to look a lot brighter. Take, take a look at that. So I always apply mine with the little brush first and then I use my finger so that it just looks brighter. You know what I mean? And then after this, I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of the other shade that we used, the black one. Well, not black. It's like dark brown. We're going to go ahead and go in with that dark brown and we're going to blend this outer area and then this, this part of the crease right here just so that that yellow blends in. And it doesn't look like it's just on there. You know what I mean? Okay, and after that, you guys, I'm going back in. My voice keeps cracking. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with the brown shade that we use, the light brown. And we're going to go ahead and apply some more at the top just so that they blend together, okay? Remember, going back and forth is going to create a better smoky eye look for you. And it's going to look a lot more blended. So always remember to go back in and make it a little bit more intense. Little by little, though, so that it just builds up and it doesn't look like you didn't blend you know what i mean okay you guys so after this i'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line and we're gonna go ahead and blend these colors out under there okay make sure you guys follow me on instagram right here at mrs emily paints it's the same as here on youtube and on tiktok and all other platforms so make sure you guys follow me because i always upload makeup tutorials or two and they're short videos which is good because you guys can still follow along and i also upload a lot of videos on tiktok you guys follow me there too you won't regret it i post a lot of funny stuff i post my makeup tutorials as well make sure you guys follow me on all social media platforms okay guys now i'm gonna grab a teeny tiny brush this is like a little pencil brush and i don't know what brand this is i think somebody sent me this um, but I am going to use this for the dark brown color and we're going to go ahead and use that on our under eye just so that we can get a closer um, a closer touch with this brush because we don't want to use a big one where it's just going to be like a big black line and it's not even going to look good. So we want to get this as close as possible to our lash line, okay? So it always helps if you guys look upwards and you like blend. The only reason why... It's easy for me right now is because I have a mirror right here. So if I put my face down like this, it's a lot easier for me to just look directly at it and blend it. But if you guys don't have a mirror in front of you, make sure you guys are looking up. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> make sure you guys are looking up with your eyes. But put your head a little bit down like this and then you're able to apply it on that lash line. Okay, guys. After that, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with that brown color the light brown and we're using the brush that we used before only because we want to use this to blend out the darker shade and then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing just like this um the good thing about this color is since it's not too dark it won't be like too bright right here so it's okay to go a little bit lower we just want a little bit of that light brown shade to pop out a little bit at the bottom so that it kind of like stands out a little and it just blends good, you know? This is what it's looking like so far, you guys. Super, super simple glam. Super nice, super perfect for everything that you wear because it matches with anything. And the good thing about this palette, you guys, is that you see this yellow shade that I used? You can use another shimmery shade, like a darker brown, a like gold brown, and then like a lighter brown. There's like very different shades of shimmery shades so it's a lot easier to create a lot of looks like this you can literally use these same colors the light brown and the dark one and then just change the shimmery shade so that it changes the complete look you know what i mean like if you're going out in the night and you want to do like a simple glam like i personally would use this darker shade over here so i would use these two shades that i used right now at the top and then just apply the darker one because like i'm gonna show you guys when i swipe this darker one look at how it looks um, this would look really, really nice over these dark colors for the nighttime. So it just depends on what type of what type of glam you guys want. And that is the good thing about this palette that it has so many options of shimmery shades that you can change it up during the day, during the afternoon, and then even during the night. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start doing my eyeliner. I'm using the Morphe gel liner, which is my favorite. 
and we're gonna go ahead and do that really quick give me one second okay guys so I want a cat eye you guys know lately I've been loving a cat eye with my wing liner so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this random little brush and I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my wing I'm gonna start off on this outer area right here and just draw it out first so we're gonna go upwards here okay and then once we have that little line you guys I'm gonna go ahead and start off like right here midways just to like drag this down this way okay and we're just tracing the line right now we're not gonna fill it up yet so I'm gonna go ahead and go right here and then just drag it down this way see so I already started off where I'm gonna be doing my wing now I'm just gonna bring this into the inner corner through here there we go and I'm just gonna fill out that outer wing before I go down lower this way okay sometimes this routine changes but it's always the same I usually always draw it out and then I fill it in I'm gonna grab a little spongy from my foundation I'm gonna go ahead and pull this a little bit just so that it's easier for me to like drag this out and also so that I don't mess up my foundation because you guys already know when you do it with your fingers it sometimes leave the, leaves the fingerprints or if you have anything on your fingers you dirty your face so I'm just going to pull this a little bit just so that it's easier for me to get in here and make an actual straight line okay you guys so after the wing I'm going to show you guys how to do the inner corner wing which I love to do because you guys already know we want that extra cat eye look you guys already know I love it so I'm going to go ahead and grab some more eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and grab some more eyeliner and I'm just going to simply line it up with this right here just to create that little line, okay? Okay, now once the little line is already there, I'm just going to pull this down a little bit just to connect it in here. And then it looks like an inner wing if that makes sense. Look at it. See, it kind of creates like that like cat eye effect. Okay, and then um, after that, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and grab my other eyeliner. I have like three of them that I'm going to use. <laughs> I have my other eyeliner, which is a pencil, you guys. I personally like to use a pencil liner for my lower waterline. And I'm just going to be filling this up right here really quick and connecting this line onto here. All right, and that gives us our full liner now i'm gonna take another eyeliner from italia deluxe which is a liquid liner you guys i personally like to use this one just to go over this other one and it doesn't give it the chance to smear because i know that the morphe one does smear here and there so i prefer to not have that <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and grab my liquid liner and just kind of like trace it over and i'm actually running out already you guys so italia deluxe if you're watching this video because i know you guys have sent me stuff <laughs> now's the time <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and grab it and start just kind of like tracing my wing we're not gonna go any higher than what we already drew you guys we're just going over it so that it doesn't like stain the top of our lid okay guys and i'm gonna go ahead and grab my lashes these are from my brand the link is down below in the description um this is what the packaging looks like these are called the adi lashes there's a feather in front of me. <laughs> These are called the Addy Lashes, you guys. Super, super popular. They're super long and dramatic. So I'm going to go ahead and use those for today. Since my makeup look is not too, too dramatic or crazy, this actually would look very, very nice. I'm just going to grab them and kind of like curl them a little bit. It's just the thing I've been doing lately and it looks nice when you apply them. Like the lashes are actually sticking out and you can actually see the length. So I just curled mine and before I apply them, we cannot forget to apply some mascara. You guys already know I like to use the Anastasia one. This is what it looks like. Um, it is called Lash Brag. Lash Brag. I don't know if they still make it, but I have it since like a long, long time ago and I liked it a lot. So I've been using it since. I should probably get a new one because this one is probably expired, but... Yes, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and apply some at the top and at the bottom. Remember, it doesn't matter how teeny tiny your lashes are at the bottom, you guys. Always make sure you apply some mascara because, yes, they are noticeable. They are noticeable. Okay, now once I have done that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my eyelash. And I'm going to use... I'm going to yes. <laughs> I'm going to use my favorite glue, you guys, the Duo Glue. I also sell eyelash glue, you guys, if you guys want to check it out on my website. The link is down below. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put some on here and wait for the glue to get tacky. And let's let it dry a little bit. All right, guys, I'm just going to use a little mirror to apply this, okay? Perfection, you guys. What do you think? The eyelashes always give it that extra pop, you guys. It really, really, really does. Okay. Now that we are done with this eye, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of bronzer and contour my nose a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to do my other eye. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery Napolitan Bar. And we're going to be using this dark one right here. You guys, this is my favorite palette for like the longest time. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and use it for my cheeks really quick. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm just going to put a little bit up here, kind of like on my cheekbone you see where it's at just a teeny teeny tiny bit you guys i don't want to put too much i don't want to make it too dark because this is like daytime makeup so we're just gonna apply a little bit here on the sides notice how my lighting change every time my my face gets like more color with makeup it's not pale anymore so i'm thinking of bronzing up before i do my eyeshadow so that my lighting doesn't look weird also, this brush is from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collection. Okay, now once this is done, I am going to apply a little bit here on my forehead, guys, because we want this all to blend out perfectly and kind of, like, make our face, like, stand out, like, the inside area of our face. We're going to go ahead and apply it all around. We want to make it look as contoured as possible, but for the daytime, so we're not going to put too, too much. And then just a little bit on my chin here on the sides because I know my chin has like this little like U shape here. Even if it goes down this way, it's kind of weird. You guys see that right here? So I'm just going to apply it from here to here just so that it stands out more. It makes my face look a little slimmer. <laughs> Alright, and then after that I'm going to grab another brush just to do this area really quick. Okay, I'm going to grab a random fluffyish brush. This teeny tiny one, it's also from Jaclyn Hill on Morphe. You guys can see it's like super tiny. We're going to go ahead and grab this little brush and just grab a little bit of that brown. And then just kind of like do this. And I like to bring it all the way down here, you guys. All the way down here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Super, super simple. And then down here because I kind of want to create like a button nose effect. So I got to get rid of this little bump that I have at the bottom of my nose here. So I do like to apply a little bit down here. And then I like to apply some down here on the sides. Because it just kind of like slims this area down. Because my nose is kind of like open at the bottom. So I do apply a little bit right here. So all the areas that you want to cover up. That is where you apply the bronzer you guys. The um That will cover it up. <laughs> Especially in the nighttime, if you do something really dark. Like it will cover it up. Obviously make sure it's blended though. And then I'm kind of going to like create like a little circle here. And that's just going to give me like that button nose effect, you guys. Do you guys see how like my nose change right here? It looks it looks a little funky because you guys actually just saw what I did. But if you guys look at it in my tutorials later on, like off guard, you will see that it's not really that, that noticeable that I contoured. And my nose actually looks like a little button nose. So I'm going to grab a little bit of the highlighter with my finger and I'm just going to take some and put it right here on the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some up here a little bit. And then once I'm done with that, see it kind of gives it that like that little extra pop. I'm going to grab some of my fingers and just apply a teeny teeny tiny amount up here. I don't want to think crazy because like I said this is like daytime makeup. Like I said this is daytime makeup so we don't want it to be like so dramatic. Right now the camera and the lighting is actually making it look a little dramatic. <laughs> but if you guys see it in person it does not look that crazy. <laughs> now after that I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, I am back and my other eye is done. We are fully glammed. What do you guys think of the final look? Ignore a little piece of glitter that I have on my lash. I didn't take it off. And I just noticed it when I was done filming. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Remember, if you guys like my videos, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. Comment yellow if you guys watch this video all the way through so that I know that you're a real one and you do watch all my tutorials all the way through. So yeah, you guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!